Hello, good evening. This is Monique Larena coming to you guys with another video. I wanted to touch on something really quick on spiritual cleansing your home um, without using smudging mechanisms like the sage, the palo santo. There are other alternative and much better, much more effective and longer lasting mechanisms that you guys can use outside of using that. I understand that using the smudging is something that's very common and, you know, it's very easy to pick up. Um, however, I think you guys, you know, a lot, a lot of people are not as educated about the concept of smudging and they don't understand how to, how to use it properly. It's really more a, of a spot treatment and it really doesn't get rid of the source of the issue that's causing the in, imbalance in your home. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right on in here. I want to hurry up and get this video over and done with so it's not too long for you guys. The first one is to feed your spirits regularly. That goes for your gatekeepers, your ancestors, um, all of your personal spirits, all the spirits that are responsible for helping to keep you um, balanced, cleansed, and protected from harmful energies. I don't like to say negative energies because we're all are, com are comprised of both positive and negative, and you know, too much of either side is going to cause an imbalance. So you want to get rid of harmful energies, okay? Feed those spirits regularly, okay? Do not wait for shit to go down. You know, before you guys decide you want to feed these spirits, okay? That's like waiting until the repo man comes to pick up your car to say, oh, well, I should go pay my car note, huh? Okay? You can't do that. That's inefficient. You're putting too much pressure on your spirits by waiting to the last minute and waiting until there's a problem, okay? This is a part of your regular and spiritual maintenance. So, yeah, make sure you guys stay on that. Put it out in your phone if you want to do it once a week, once a month, however, however you guys want to do it using whatever modality, Definitely get that. That's probably number one. Number two is going to be stop wearing shoes inside of your home because your shoes hold on to vibrations, to all the shit that you walk into. You walk in your mud, dirt, um, old rainwater, murky water, whatever. You don't know what's on the ground that you walk on. And you're bringing those things from your workplace, from other places, from other people's houses back into your home. Okay, so what you want to do is remove your shoes once you enter your home. So do not walk around in your shoes um, that you've been wearing all day. You know, get just or you know, if, if you're one of those people who feel like they have to have something on their feet at all times, get y'all something to walk in that you can either wipe off, um, that you can cleanse spiritually, or something that you guys can throw in the washer. Okay. The next thing I want to say is to uh, rearrange the furniture inside of your home just to improve the flow of energy in there. Um, you really don't want to. Um, allow any dust to settle because we're dust, dust settles in the place where the where things are not moving okay you want things to be moving at uh at all times um the energy that is is what i'm referring to so um if you're looking at the cracks of your walls if you're looking at different places of your light of your of your house where um a lot of dust is settling that's a sign that there's a lot of stagnant energy over there so you definitely want to um, move your furniture or rearrange it if you're incapable of uh, rearranging the furniture due to the floor plan or spacing issues definitely try to do your best to pull out the things that um, you can pull out and just cleanse behind it every so often okay um, because the stagnant energy inside of your home where the dust is it really attracts a lot of confusion and a lot of low vibrational spirits and we don't want that inside of our homes we want to have peace and balance and harmony in our homes okay the next one I have here is to throw out old items that you are no longer using. Throw out items that you guys that um, that have been broken or that are not or maybe you just can't use them for whatever reason. Throw out those old clothes, ladies. Throw out those dresses that you haven't worn in six years. Throw out the outfits that was given to you by your exes or the items that were given to you by your exes. Unless you have a good use for it right now or coming up in the near future, toss it away. Okay, you have to throw it away. You, you don't keep those energies inside of your home. Ladies and gentlemen, go in your closets, go into your storage room, go into go under your bed. Do whatever you have to do, cleanse out all those things. We can't be hoarding on to things because everything comes with a frequency. And the reason that you're holding on to those things too will remain. So once you begin to throw out those things that, you're, that you've been holding on to for so many years or for so many months, you know, it's really going to help you be able to release you know, all the baggage, all the emotions, it's going to help you to um, learn to forgive and let the petty shit go, believe it or not. So the next thing I want to touch on here for you is to um, turn off the TV while you guys are sleeping and when you're away from home because it's not a secret. 
you know there's a lot of subliminal messages in techno magic placed in the content of the television that is um being uh, expressed out through the viewers um, of the content of that information so you definitely want to turn it off before you go to sleep I don't watch TV at all, but you don't have to go as extreme as I uh, as I tend to go. But turn it off, you know. Try to turn it off. Try not to go to sleep watching TV, you know, because again, your your subconscious mind is still on. It's still in receptive mode. And even turn it off when you guys are away from home, because you know it's still leaving that energy present inside of your home. You don't want that there, okay? So um, the next thing I want to touch on here is pretty much a no-brainer, and that's just to clean your damn house, okay? Don't leave any old dishes in your in your um in your sink for two, three, four, and five days. Okay, we don't want to do that. Clean those dishes, wash those dishes. Okay, clean your bathroom, clean behind the toilet, clean in places that you that you would not otherwise clean. Yes, everybody hates cleaning the bathroom. <laughs> we all hate doing that. But that is a place where we are supposed to be able to release and cleanse ourselves. So if your bathroom is nasty, it is a huge sign that you are having spiritual blockages in your life, okay? So let's clean our house, you know, clean the ceiling fans, clean the, the cracks and crevices of, of any and all things in there. Just keep it clean. Remove the trash out. Don't keep trash inside your house. Don't keep it, near, especially near your front door, you know, keep, keep all that stuff away and out of your house, okay? The next thing I want to touch on here is to remove and organize any clutter that you may have inside of the house. There are some things that we guys that we that we may have, but um, maybe you can't throw it away, or maybe you just don't have another place to put it. At least cleanse it and organize it to where to where it sets decency and order inside of your home. The next thing to me is also no brain a, a no brainer, but it is to stop inviting low vibrational people into your home. Okay. Stop letting Keisha come over to your house knowing that she's going to come home and talk about her whack-ass baby daddy for the, whack for the, for the, for the umpteen time. You don't want to do that. We don't talk about whack-ass baby daddy. You wanna, we don't want to talk about all the things that are causing us pain and trauma. Stop doing that. Stop inviting energies into the home that are, can potentially cause you problems, okay? Stop letting Ricky come over to your home for booty call, okay? If you know he is low vibrational and he is not taking care of himself spiritually, have booty calls at his house, okay, or somewhere else where it's not going to leave an imprint inside of your home, okay? So, yes, when you have sex with someone, yeah, you can bring those energies home, but you can always take a spiritual bath. But if you're doing that inside of your home, you are leaving that imprint there, and everything attached to that person can be left inside of your home, and we don't want that, right? Okay? So the next part I want to say here is, of course, um, take your spiritual bath. I recommend doing that two to four times a month. Uh, remove the clutter from underneath your bed. Make sure your partner and your kids are staying spiritually clean as well, too. Um, you are responsible for all the people that you entertain in your life and inside your home. Okay, so uh, the next thing is to replace your pillows once every three to six months if you can afford to do so. If you cannot do that, every, once, every three to six months. Um, do as often as you can, or just add some borax powder instead of your instead of your uh, washers to kind of help boost it to be uh, cleansed out. Okay. The next thing is to get you a good floor wash, make a good um, cleansing solution to wash your walls, your ceiling fans, your dresser, all of the tangible items inside of your home. Um, the next thing I want to say here, you can use a Greek ring, whether you want to use a doll baby or whether you want to use um any other type of um i'm just going to say the word paraphernalia to anoint what are really relative to any tradition or lore that you want to use go ahead and use it to keep your house cleansed and protected from harmful energies okay the next thing is to clean out your refrigerator okay we all are kind of guilty of this some of us probably still have gumbo sitting in our refrigerator that's been sitting in there the past two months because you know we don't feel like cleaning out that pot Okay, get that shit out of your house, get out of your refrigerator. Your refrigerator is where we put our the storage of our food so it can be later ingested, okay? Cleanse our bodies, keep our homes and bodies spiritually cleansed. All right, the next thing is to cleanse your front door and your back door along with the, um, the door step and the door panel. Keep all those things clean so you can have good, uh, good healthy passageways for things to come in and out of your life uh, up on demand. Um, the next thing, uh, which is you guys are probably going to try to shoot me over, but slow down on watching porn, okay? 
there are entities and spirits and harmful spirits that are attached to um, to to uh, porn videos. So I'm not gonna tell you not to watch it. It's completely up to you. If it's your thing, it's not my thing. But if it's your thing, just slow down on using it. You know, or at least don't fall asleep to it. Or at least you know, put a hedge of protection around yourself using whatever modality you want to use so that the whatever entities or spirits that were attached to the video at the time that it was filmed is not also leeching onto you. And the last thing here is to utilize caution whenever you are smoking marijuana. Um, marijuana is not my thing, but for those people who do enjoy using uh, marijuana, make sure that you are keeping a hedge of protection around yourself because, it's, again, it's no secret that marijuana leaves holes inside of your aura that we don't always remember to um, fill back up. So make sure that you are, are protected whenever you are using marijuana for, for spiritual and recreational use so that um, you are not open the door for your nosy little astral neighbors out here to come and attach to you. So I really hope this video was helpful for you. I look forward to hearing back from you guys. Please like, comment, share, um, give me feedback. Thank you to all of my supporters thus far. And I look forward to hearing from y'all. Y'all have a wonderful night. Thank you.